Hello, Taras here. Welcome to Ocean State Aquatics Television in another episode of our running series, What is a Fish? A series where we take all the different diversity, a world of diversity that's offered in here and in every other fish store, and we chop it up into the little digestible families so that we know just what the heck we're looking at and can appreciate just a small slice of the diversity that's available in the world of fish. So today we're gonna to be talking about another ancient predatory fish family. Just like the Polypteridae that really rose in Africa, and the Osteogliidae, which was South America, then spread over to Australia. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Lepiososteidae, the gars. So this is truly 100% an American fish family. So this family derived from all of the river basins in North America, Cuba, the Caribbean, and Central America. Very closely related to the pikes and pickerel. And in a way, the pikes and the pickerel colonized the north and the colder waters, whereas these guys colonized the southern waters and became these large, aggressive, surface predatory fish designed to stay towards the surface, whack prey items, be a generalist feeder, eating everything from lizards, smaller fish, bugs, everything they can get their hands on. For that reason, for the most part, they are a little bit challenging to keep in the aquarium, not in terms of difficulty feeding or water quality, but because they do get larger sizes. The Florida gar that you see behind me is a more moderately sized species that will only get a couple feet in length, whereas other species like the alligator gar can easily get bigger than four feet in length and will be highly carnivorous requiring big meaty prey items. Some other fun facts about this species and this family uh, is that uh, they breathe air. So you can find them in Florida, for instance, like two inches of water, barely barely in this really hot water, but they can, they can use their swim bladder as a pseudo prehistoric lung, gulp air. This species and this family is highly resistant to hypoxia. In the same regard, in order to compete and prevent their eggs from being eaten by things like crayfish, their eggs are highly toxic and have this thing called ichthyotoxin that if a, a crayfish were to eat it, kill them dead. So for that reason, many cultures eat the adult gar, but few cultures uh, eat the eggs because it will, it will even make an adult man sick. A couple interesting things, they have these huge uh, ganoid scales, these armored scales that uh, Native American cultures use basically as arrowheads and also to pleat their armored and shields. So the gars, really, really cool. I only recommend if you're willing to have a very large elongated fish tank, um, otherwise, they are relatively peaceful monster fish, really charismatic, really cool looking, truly American. So come down here today and have a little slice of the American South in your living room today. Uh, we'll see you next time.